In other news, Jacob Zuma's defense team says he has nothing to fear about what might be in a diary belonging to a former French arms company executive. The diary is currently under lock and key in Mauritius. Now, the state wants the Peter Maritzburg High Court to formally ask Mauritius for it, saying it'll show that Zuma and his former financial advisor, Shabir Sheikh, met with the arms company executive. The National Prosecuting Authority maintains that it was at this meeting that a half a million man bribe for the former deputy president was discussed. The state wants the court to send a letter of request formally asking officials in Mauritius to hand over Alain Tetard's diary. He's the former chief executive of the French arms company Tint that was bidding for a slice of the arms deal. The state believes there's an entry in the diary that will prove Jacob Zuma, together with Shabir Sheikh, did meet with Alain Tetard to discuss a half a million rand bribe for Zuma in exchange for his influence in the arms deal. Sheikh is already behind bars, in part for trying to secure that bribe. But Zuma's defense team don't want the state to see that diary. Jacob Zuma's lawyers wouldn't comment on camera, but say their objections to the state's request for the so-called incriminating diary doesn't mean Zuma's got something to hide. They accuse the state of dragging its feet, saying the prolonged legal battle is unnecessary and has negatively impacted on Zuma's life. The state is hoping that access to the diary could lead to them bringing fresh corruption charges against him. The court is expected to rule on the matter next week. Vanessa Govender, E! News, Peter Maritzburg. Let's check in now with the markets.